All right, welcome back, guys, to another episode of Daily Dose of CAD. Uh, in this episode of the Daily Dose of CAD, I'm going to go over how to curve text in Fusion 360. Um, it's a feature that I found on one of the uh, Fusion 360 Autodesk forums, so I figured I could uh, kill two birds with one stone here and make a YouTube video just demonstrating how I do it solely in Fusion 360. That's curving the text like this, allowing the text to kind of follow a curved line. Um, I kind of had to think out of the box on this one, uh, but I really wanted to try to demonstrate a way for you guys to do it only using Fusion 360. Let's get to it. All right, how's it going, guys? Uh, Adam James here bringing you another episode of The Daily Dose of CAD. Uh, in this episode, like I had mentioned, I'm going to go over how to make a... Uh, a text kind of outline on a curve like this in a 2D manner. Um, you know, not, not projecting on, say, a 3D surface, but allowing text to kind of follow a curve like this. And the reason I'm making this video is because I haven't seen anyone do it um, solely in Fusion 360. This is a little um, tedious, but it allows you to get the job done in Fusion 360 um, using only this program. So this is kind of uh, the example that I did. Uh, pretty simple, but as you can see it allows the text to kind of follow this curve um, and you can maybe make like a keychain or, or I don't know what the purpose um, that you're trying to do with this, but in this example I'm going to show you how I attained this using only Fusion 360. So Without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so I'm going to create a sketch on the top plane here. And I'll make my construction lines as always. X for construction. Oh, and we'll make this vertical. And X for construction. All right, so. I also want to make some here, X for construction, and make some here, X for construction. Okay, cool. Uh, and then we'll go in here and do a three-point arc. And this will not be a construction line. And we'll go from here to here. So this will be the line or the path that our text will follow. Uh, and we want to make these to tangent and I think these are already yeah these are already tangent let's just make sure yep looks good and we'll give this a radius of I don't know 50 millimeters that seems okay okay great and then we're going to do the same thing uh, we're gonna go three point arc sure this guy and this guy are tangent oops are tangent there we go and then we need another construction line X for construction and we'll make this and this tangent last thing make this the same 50 millimeters okay looking good now what we want to do is then make uh, some lines in here using a circular pattern so that the text can lie on that path. Um, so we're just going to select this construction line that I drew earlier. And we're going to do circular pattern. And then the point, we're going to click on that. But we're not going to go around the full. Uh, if you wanted to do the text around, say, an entire circle, you could do full and you would just make one circle. But I wanted to kind of make this um, at least the most difficult kind of example I could show you. And then I know it would be easier if you just made a circle and the text could follow that path. But this is kind of following a spline. Uh, I'm sure you can take this example and do it in a circle if I show you. 
Okay, so we will do angle because we're only going from here to here. That's a quarter of a circle. So 90 degrees. <clears throat> and our instances, um, we'll do, let's see here. Um, well, the angle I want is going to be, let's do four. Four instances. Uh, let's do five. That looks pretty good. So five. That's that would be twenty lines in a three hundred sixty degree circle. Uh, so three sixty divided by twenty, I believe, is or no, we'll do ninety over what? One, two, three, four, five. 90 over 5, which is 22.5. Great. So that just means that each text um, that comes up at this point will have to be modified by 22 point or increased by 22.5 degrees, um, allowing this text to be at 90 degrees from this point. Here, I'll show you. So this first one will be, we'll just do E for example. And we'll leave it at zero. Make another piece of text. For X, 22.5 degrees. See it changes it there. <clears throat> and then we'll do 22.5 times two. Whoop. I need to enter this first. A, for example, 22.5 times two. And we'll do one more. M, 22.5 times 3. I know I wish there was an easier way to do this in Fusion 360, but this is the way that I have found to do it. Um, it's a little tedious, I know, but um, it allows you to do it all in Fusion 360, so it's kind of nice. Oops, I didn't do this over here. So we'll go into line. Yes, I'm aware. Uh, and we'll pattern this guy. Around here, and we'll just do an angle of negative 90. Um, quantity 5. Cool. Okay, and then we'll just finish this off really quick. 5 times 2, whoops, wait, times 3, excuse me. And then 20.5 times 2. Great. All right, that's it. I mean, that is the basis of how I was able to do it. I know it's a little tedious, but it really allows you to just get the job done in Fusion 360. Uh, I wish it was a little simpler, but for the purpose of being able to outline that text using solely Fusion 360, I think it does the job pretty well. Uh, so if you wanted to, say, um, make like a keychain or something, uh, or you just wanted to project this on a surface, I would go... And then I would offset this guy by maybe, uh, we'll do two millimeters. But we don't want this to be a construction. And actually, this path we kind of do want to be a construction. And then we'll offset it the other direction. maybe 10 millimeters or so. Great. And then I'll just kind of finish this guy down here. Not a construction line. I'm just using the line tool to kind of
just need to define all this really quick. Whoa! I didn't want that to be attached there. One sec. You know what, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. That's okay. And then make these non-construction. And then we'll just finish it off up here. Cool. So this is all good. Let's stop the sketch. And we'll just select this guy. We will extrude it down. That looks good. Go into sketches again. Show the sketch. And then hold control and select all the letters that you want. Did I get that? I guess we'll see. And bring it up maybe a millimeter. And then hide the sketch. Whoop, of course I missed one. Great, that's all there is to it guys. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment uh, down below, but I just wanted to kind of, I'll upload this to the Autodesk forums as well, just so people can um, get an idea as to what I'm uh, referring to and uh, yeah, if you have any more questions, leave a comment below, uh, leave a like, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Take care. Bye.